Hey, hi Scorpio. Um, well, Cancer time's a wonderful time for you because it's about your ninth house. It's, a, it's about luck, good fortune. It's about travel. It's probably your, your best uh, time of year to travel. Um, we've got Mercury now in the midheaven, so people are paying attention to what you say. So all my mistakes at the beginning forecast. <laughs> They're watching somehow. People are watching. Okay. What do I have to say about Mercury in the midheaven and Leo? Well, you are a teacher of your own experience. Um, the Pluto influence on the Mars, you know, Scorpio is the more experienced Mars. It's been through a lot of stuff. I, you know, when I take the zodiac, sometimes I think of it also as like symbolic seven years of life for every sign. You know, everyone gets to live to 84 on an average. Everything after that's a gift. Okay? You might be able to live twice that long, maybe. But that's about it. <laughs> if you're really, really super special, <laughs> I guess. Um, but um, you are sort of symbolic of what I'd call like the Chiron return years, you know, kind of like getting into, um, you know, late 40s through mid 50s. And it's about somehow releasing so you can enjoy life more. And um, right now, it's like trying other people's trip out. It's really great when you're going through a ninth house transit. It's like, okay, oh yeah, my friend's a Mormon. I'll go, I'll go check it out. You know, I mean, I, I'm an astrology buff, and you know, I mean, or my friend's a, a Sufi, Sufi dancer. They're following Sufi tradition of uh, Islamic mysticism. I'm going to investigate it, or Native American spirituality. I mean, there's a whole host of things. Native Celtic spirituality. I mean, there, there's a many, many paths to get to know the divine, right? And um, you're lucky, you're working it, and just pay attention to your spiritual life, pray for others, and, you know, honor your emotions, and things are going to be good.